Hey guys, CS here, and uh, I'd like to welcome you all to my first ever Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while now, and um, I know it's a little bit random for me to just come out of the blue and start doing Let's Plays, because I know that's exactly what you had subscribed for. Um, so, let's uh, get right into it. I'm going to be playing a very obscure and old game that I'm sure uh, no one cares about. It's called Treasure Trap. It was developed by a publisher called Electric Zoo in 1991. I was like two or three years old when I first played it. And um, it's just it was one of my favorite games as a child. Not so much a favorite of mine now, but, uh, you know, uh, let's, let's get into it. Okay, hard disk users, ensure that you have a uh, disk in the C drive. I think I do. Okay, we're going to go with ad lib. Okay. So, we are on the the pea spoon boat and uh And they're going to drop us in. Or like, drop the beat. Am I right? And in we go. So this is a game all about collecting gold from a submerged uh, boat called the Esmeralda, I believe. God, those symbols. Those symbols sound horrible. Okay, let's press fire to begin. Okay, are we going to begin? Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, so let's just get right into it. It's this is an isometric, um, this is an <laughs> an isometric platformer game, in which you have um, oh oh geez I forgot how horrible the controls are with this. Oh this is really oh controlling this with the arrow keys is absolute hell. How did I do this when I was a kid? Because you know it's you you're doing diagonals, so I can't even tell what the hell direction I'm. I'm going in. How did I ever do this when I was a, a kid? This does, I th I think I'm gonna have to remap the key controls because I I can't even tell what to. So anyway, that that was the first room, and there's many many rooms on this ship. Um, and uh, like I said, the objective is to collect gold and uh, collect as much of it as we can. Um, oh, crap. And not get hit by any of the sea creatures that are dwelling on the boat. And uh, eventually I will actually be able to collect this piece of gold up here. Okay, there we go. So, um, oh man, I need, I need to remap these key controls. This is, this is awful. I can't play like this. Hold on. I'm actually going to use the number pad because that allows me to do diagonals properly. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that once you quit, you cannot continue where you left off. You can actually only save once you collect 50 bars of gold, which is going to take an absolute eternity because... Oh, no, 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 no. Because... I'm much more terrible at this game than I was as a child. Um, like exponentially, I, I've gotten exponentially worse because I haven't played it in years and years. But also, I'm just generally bad at most games, so that's nothing new. I believe there's gold in the middle here, and I just need to wait for the proper timing to be able to get it. And then I gotta jump out real fast. 
Okay, let's see if we can go in here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, so that's that's what it looks like when you die. In case you were wondering. You're gonna see that a lot, actually. Okay. And, oh, that's right. You can't get anywhere from here. You have to approach it from the other side. Or do you? I don't remember. There are some movable blocks in this game. So that, for example, I can push right through here. And, uh, I, I guess that's not how this works. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna go back out. And, uh, I kind of wonder why I decided to pick such an obscure and also boring game. Like, this is probably an incredibly boring game to watch as a Let's Play. Okay, so I need to pick this up again. Also, the keys are not very responsive at all. Like, I'm pressing them and they're, whoa, and they are not responding, uh, which is good. Um... So, oh, another thing is I have to pe I have to pay attention to my, my air meter, which is in the lower right-hand corner. Um, basically, if that runs out, I lose a life. And I currently have four lives that are going to be lost very soon. Um, and so now we're in this room with a stingray, and I have to ride the stingray across. Otherwise, these... Uh, Hermit crab things are gonna eat me alive. Um, I don't remember where some of these go. Okay, get to meet a nice friendly octopus. Um, all right, let's grab this key over here. And oh, 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 oh! I forgot about. Oh no, 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 no! Okay, I'm already down to two lives. This is this is going. Very bad. I forgot. You have to trap the um, this black. Um, what is this guy anyway? I always thought he was like a mine or something, but I don't. Th I think it's a sea creature, but I'm not sure what type of sea creature. There you go. You gotta trap him behind the barrels, but that didn't work apparently. Okay. So let's try that again because I know it can work. I'm just like I said. I'm just dying. Uh, Okay, okay, good. Hey, we got it this time. All right, that worked out. I definitely need air. This is what air looks like in a, um, like a, a packet form. Uh, and now he has too much air, so he got bloated. Uh, that, I mean, that's, I guess that happens to me also when I, <laughs> when I get too much air. Um, and, oh, this is what I was thinking of before. Yeah, you push these blocks through, and then, uh, you can't go back. So, it's always something that I want. Something that I strive for in my life is to not be able to go back to a better place. Um, so here we have a ton of gold. Absolute ton of gold we're picking up. Yep, 23. So we're already halfway to the point at which... That sound is kind of annoying after a while. Already halfway to the point at which I will be able to save the game. Because before I reach 50, I, th I will not be able to save this at all. Um, okay, great. We are up to 28 gold. And this was the room I was having trouble in before. You just, sometimes you have to approach things from a completely different direction. And, uh... That's a good life lesson to have. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned, uh, I completely plan on YTPing my own Let's Play videos. And for those of you who don't know what a YTP is, it's just a ridiculous and oftentimes inappropriate remix video. And most, if not all, the people who are currently subscribed to my channel are here because of YTPs. And they don't want to see anything else. They don't want to be watching this right now. But because for some reason they are still subscribed, um, you know, they, uh, oh crap, I forgot how to, I don't know how to get out of this. Do I take a leap of faith? Oh yes, oh thank you. Oh, I'm very glad that worked, because that 
did I didn't think that was going to work. Ooh, okay. I still have some skills. I still have some very, very, a very small skill set. Up, oh, crab got confused. You know the cra uh, all of the sea creatures in this game they 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 will not follow you except for that one type these guys these guys will follow you but um all the other sea creatures in this game just they ricochet off of walls um and they will just turn once they hit something which is uh this is like an alarm system I forgot how to deal with this if i touch the gold those guys block the doors Oh, uh, okay. I do remember. Some of these objects are completely pushable, which makes it very, um... You can, um, y use them to block the fall of one of these guys. Oh, oh, okay. They did not fall. I think because I did not touch this. Let's touch it just to see. I'm gonna screw myself. Yep, yep. That's what I thought. Okay, let's see if I can... I do need some air. Let's grab that air and sit around being bloated for a while. Okay. Now let's see if I can get the heck out of here without getting hurt. Oh, wow, that was close. How did he not fall on me? Yes, I have reached a save point. This is great. I don't think anybody ever has done a Let's Play of this and gotten this far. I think most people probably play the first like three screens they enter and then you know it's such a boring game from there on out that they don't even continue. But look at me. Um, okay I'm gonna replace John Radar number zero. Uh, there we go. Okay good. Oh we're saved. Awesome. Except I only have like one life I'm dealing with, but oh well. I guess I will pick this up next time. If you guys do want to see more of this, that would be great. And if you don't, then uh... until next time, this is CS signing out.